Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome back to another FPV flight tutorial lesson. So let's jump on in to Liftoff Simulator, which we've been using here for this whole uh, tutorial series. And today we're going to talk about rolls and flips and unusual attitude recovery, aka not freaking out when you're upside down. And so we're going to do what you probably did as soon as you got on the simulator, uh, which is we're going to uh, bring our quadcopter way up in the air so that we have some time before we fall back down. And we're going to do some rolls and some flips. And you'll notice my rates are quite slow. We talked about rates in a previous uh, lesson. And we also talked about turning and the basic controls of maneuvering the quadcopter. So hopefully you've practiced those and have gotten pretty good at them. And we can also practice those in the air like we are right now. But what we want to focus on are the flips and the rolls because those are the kind of things everybody sees and they want to do and like they look so cool and, and they are cool. But um, they're not always the most useful uh, in just by themselves. So what we're going to talk about is getting up in the air. And this is a really important thing. This very first part is you want to lower your throttle when, when you turn upside down. So I'm upside down. My throttle is down because I'm, I'm already falling. I'm upside down. So my quadcopter will be wanting to, um, basically pull me down if I have my throttle raised. So again, we're going to come up here. We're going to lower the throttle, do a roll, and then back to center. Now, this is this is especially why you want to have lower rates. We talked about rates in, in another video. Um, because if you have very fast rates, it will be very hard to do a nice roll. And it'll, it's easy to get disoriented if you have fast rates because you'll just, if you kind of just do like a full roll, you might end up like overshooting and then it gets weird fast. So lower those rates and it'll make this a lot easier. So to start off, we're just going to do simple, like full deflection, moving the stick all the way, and then coming back to center. So doing a, a full roll and then coming back and leveling out as we were. And same with the flips. You could do a back flip, which I find way more disorienting than a roll. So probably start with the rolls. Pretty simple when we're t just talking about just doing those do a roll and that's fine. But when you start combining movements, um, or especially like the yaw movement and the flips and the rolls and all those things, you can get disoriented pretty fast. So it's good to practice just getting used to doing flips and rolls way up in the air and getting used to, to borrow the term from like uh, full scale aviation, unusual attitude recovery. And so what that means is like, if our quadcopter is like this, how do we recover from that? And you might want to be trying to like do all the controls at once and and freak out but usually um if you just roll or pitch or something like that you can kind of get yourself out of the situation so like you know say like this we're kind of falling down like at a weird way because we can't really see the ground if we just roll we're, we're going to be fine we we roll we give it a little bit of throttle and we're okay and the reason it might seem silly to like go over this because in the simulator it doesn't seem like a big deal but when you're first flying and you have the goggles on and you know you you don't want to break your quadcopter obviously and maybe this is like the first time that you've you know really been um up in the air and it's like it, you know it's it's pretty crazy because you can see really far um obviously you don't want to go too high but the view is amazing it's just a lot to take in and it can be a very immersive experience which is super cool but that might mean that you're like really nervous and um it could be easy to freak out because you feel like you are actually up in the air and you're kind of falling in this weird way so that's why we just want to practice you know smooth movements to level our quadcopter and to get um a good uh you know a good sight picture or a good image um to, so we can like you know orient ourselves is what i'm trying to say to reorient ourselves so if you're falling you know you don't necessarily want to like try doing all of the these things at once you know you don't want to yaw and and roll and pitch usually if you just pick one you'll be okay so that's what i would practice uh just spend some time just doing that just like you just roll you're upside down and then it's like, how do I get out of this roll? Well, you could continue rolling or you could roll back the other way 
or you could even pitch. You know, so you, you got to kind of start thinking three dimensionally. Um, and especially if you're used to airplane flying um, with a quadcopter, you have much more freedom because the quadcopter can just spin around itself in space. So let's say we're, you know, we're kind of at this like that kind of this weird angle. We could yaw and point ourselves back down, which and then we need to pitch. And, and of course, throttle management, like we talked about, throttle management to arrest our fall, to keep ourselves from um, crashing into the ground. Um, and if you do, don't you know, don't feel too bad about that. So again, we're gonna, we if we're gonna do our rolls and flips, we want to go up a little ways, take the throttle out, and do our roll, our flip, bring the throttle back as we're starting to level out. Same thing with the flips and the rolls. And then sometimes you might it might actually be helpful depending on how high up you are to give it a little bit of extra throttle and then do your maneuver and then bring the throttle back so it's kind of like you're giving your it's kind of like you're doing a little jump in your quadcopter to give yourself extra room uh for the for the altitude that you're going to lose when you do the roll one more thing i want to mention here which could actually be very helpful. In addition to not freaking out when you're, uh, you know, upside down or looking down or whatever, is you might get up here and you're above the trees and you can see the horizon okay. But, but the thing is, you can't really look down because if you just point the quadcopter directly down, you're going to start coming down really fast because the quad quadcopter is um, at that point it's going to be not really making any uh, lift in the upward direction. So that could be kind of weird because if you're trying to like look down at where you are to try and figure out where to land, you might just start falling directly down uh, towards the ground, like way faster than you would think. So one of the things that you can do is if we're up here, you can kind of do like a um, like a sort of like a spiraling motion. So, uh, you know, as we point down, we want to raise the throttle as we move forward. So we're basically we're doing we're now just doing like a forward flight sort of um spiral circling type of movement uh forward flight we're using a little bit of roll a little bit of yaw and so this way we can look down and and see down where we're going without actually going straight down so this could be kind of good you see we're losing altitude and we can see where we're going and then we can you know bring it in uh to land something like that so that might be helpful especially if there's a lot of trees around you um, something to keep in mind. Well, there you go, folks. That is a little bit of how to practice your flips and rolls and your unusual attitude recovery, aka not freaking out if you're upside down or anything like that. Remember, go up high, take the throttle out if you're going to be upside down. And if you're trying to find your way back down to the ground without pointing straight down, you can just kind of do a circle maneuver. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. If you have questions about, uh, flips and rolls and that sort of thing, leave me a comment. Maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. And I will see you again very soon in the next flight tutorial video.